Hello everyone, it's me, and I can no brainer. Welcome to the Star Wars Destiny video. Another match I honestly have lost count at this point of how many matches I have done in this season 7, I want to say, league. But, you know, it took me a long time to get back into it, but sure, let's, let's do it. You know, there's a really, really good battlefield that works with droids now. And I've never really played, tried to even play droids competitively. Uh, I don't think they are going to be competitive, but I want to have fun, you know? The battlefield specifically is Arena of Death, uh, which deals indirect damage to opponent equal to the number of defeated characters. Uh, playing against a uh, mill deck, though, uh, that could be a problem. Uh, but yeah, droids definitely got a lot in this next set. Uh, so let's see how they do. Now, droids... Uh, now, this is going to be a best of one. Uh, Jeff Lewis does not have a lot of time to play, unfortunately. Um, so we're just going to give him a really fast game. And um, there's double aftermath, but I'm playing against a mill deck, so I don't really want aftermath. And that's a problem, because I kind of want characters to be defeated for my battlefield to work. But, you know, whatever. Uh, don't really need this removal. So even though this would be an absolutely fantastic hand if I was dealing with someone who wasn't playing a mill deck, uh, droids typically lose to mill. Um, so, yeah, I'll keep the lookout outpost. Just in case. Um, well, because I should be winning my battlefield roll off here, let's be honest. Um, but yeah, so interesting fact about droids. Um, you'd think with 30 starting health, wait, 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, yep, with 30 starting health, um, that these guys would be pretty good at a long term engagement. Uh, I rolled really high, so there's no way he beat me. Yeah, absolutely no way he beat me. So I'm going to take my battlefield, give him the shields purely so that I can play Lookout Outpost as my first action. Um, now, so anyway, interesting thing about droids. You'd think that with 30 health, these guys were really good at um, at lasting a while. But in actual fact, um, droids' droids' character dice are so weak, so low value, because that that value, droids have an expected value of less than one per rollout. Um, because that's two blanks and only one plus two, uh, which gives you slightly less. And great, there's a there's a double discard side. That's that's just perfect. Um well I don't really wanna I don't want to spend my um cards. I want to force him to discard me. Um to to make this mill take as long as possible here. Um, <sighs> discarded from play, so yeah, it would have. It doesn't just come back to my hand. Yeah, no, that'd be dumb. And I rolled an indirect, so I get to roll out again. But yeah, droids have such a weak set of dice that it's better for them to be played as an aggro deck. Because look at this. Look at how fast droids can roll out. Um, this is not what you'd expect from a five die deck. You would not expect a five die deck to be that fast, right? But they are. Um, and their damage potential is so low um, that you really need them to kind of die. So it's really unfortunate I came up against a mill deck because with aftermaths, um, droids can also get a lot of money. Now this money can be spent on endless ranks and stuff, but I much prefer to spend that money um, on things that will kill people, like Lookout Post. And the idea with this deck is that with Arena of Death, I can do some like double claim shenanigans to do significant uh, late game damage along with stuff like Scorched Earth to just really do a lot of damage that they can't deal with and wow okay Discord apparently has a uh, overlay now but yeah with with this sort of stuff I can do a lot of indirect damage very fast and hope that I can get uh, get past people who um, to get past get past a lot of aggro decks. It's very good it's a very good aggro deck against other aggro decks typically. Uh, let's force Yoda to have to actually resolve that, I think. Uh, but then Lookout Post is really strong with that 50% chance. Let's let's discard testing procedure here. Yeah, testing procedure is just a nice card with um, for for getting resources. I, I like to spend a lot of time just getting resources here. So this is gonna be two, four, five. God damn it, easy pickings. Uh, that's another problem with droids. Uh, if they get removed, that's a problem. So I only managed to do four indirect. That's really pitiful, um, unfortunately, for droids. But droids typically... Droids are aggro decks, except they have more health and less damage, which can allow them to um, survive until the end of round four, when most aggro decks would kill by round four. Um, but yeah, yeah, their damage output is quite low, especially compared to uh, the, like, ten... Aggro damage 
the 10 damage that, um, how did he even get those resources? How did he even get the resources for a C-3PO? Uh, how did he get that? Yeah, because Force Meditation costs two. <laughs> oh, and he can't even easy pickings. Oh. Oh. Whoa. Okay, way wrong. He did not pay for force meditation. Whoa, okay, let's let's re-roll let's rewind this back very far. Jesus. Uh okay, there we go. Alright, Jesus. So Alright, so your roll. Okay. Um I meant to. <laughs> Calling indirect. Whoa, okay, so yeah, um, yeah, he calls indirect, and he gets the blank, alright, well, again, I don't really want to use, discard the last card, so I will take this extra two damage, uh, because, wow, uh, so yeah, six, six is okay, now six is much more, uh, much better, uh, the problem is, of course, he's got a 30 health deck, uh, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six. Right. Okay. Cool. All right. So I'm really glad I noticed that because Jesus, that's two extra starting resources. No, no way. But of course, he does get to discard to reroll and get this stuff working. All right, so yeah, you're trying to be very aggro uh, with battle droids. You're trying to you what that what this thirty health does is it allows a droid army deck to not run removal, or at least to not run bad removal. Like doubt could be still useful. Um, I don't actually have doubt in here. I probably should have doubt in here, but it allows you to run the best defense. Um, crackdown would be nice because crackdown is nice resources, but it just in general means that you can spend all of your money, like all of your money. Damn it, you got a discard side. Um, and that means, oh god, power action from Leia, oh, this is horrible, he managed to mill five there, oh no, I lost a troop transport, okay, troop transport's very vital to this deck against a mill deck, because this, would, because this is effectively going to be a five every time, that is a launch bay every time, uh, for only three, I need those badly against a mill deck, and uh, unfortunately I just lost them, um, no problem. Alright, and yeah, I've got stuff like Award Ceremony in here, which is fantastic for the aggro because it allows you to draw into your attritions and aftermaths and stuff uh, a lot better, but um, not very useful here. And this LR1K, not very useful here. Overrun allows me to claim the battlefield, to use the claimability of the battlefield again, which in the late game can allow me to do an extra three indirect every time. But yeah, it just it does not work against a mill deck, so it's very unfortunate I got into, into a game against this. Uh, but oh well, like... At the end of the day, uh, Mill is very much part of the meta now, unfortunately. Um, well, fortunately, unfortunately, I don't know. Um, I don't quite know how I feel feel about it, honestly. Um, I do have decks that can deal with Mill, but I want to have some fun with Boom Battle Droids, you know. I, I feel very confident that I could make the top cut with this quite easily if I wanted to. Uh, so let's see what he wants to run with here. He did use up the easy pickings and the stealthy, alright. Yeah, his goal here is to get a three uh, on this high gun side and then use Leia's ability to always be discarding. And that is kind of scary. Uh, by kind of, I mean extremely. Let's try and hit that three. Nope. Okay, look out post. Very useful here. It's got 50% damage size. Not hitting them whilst my droids are hitting damage size like crazy. Um, very, very interesting. But yeah, probably not going to award ceremony. Um... In all honesty, 
because yeah award ceremony is not necessarily the best thing in the world here but I can outnumber if I want to um, might need to we'll see what he's rolling here a blank and a disrupt all right I can leave that be for now we can wait for Yoda to roll in before I decide whether or not I want to outnumber and that's a plus two that's indirect so that allows me to roll out this droid and that's another indirect. Alright, so I'm going to be doing four indirect here, plus whatever else I can roll if I want to roll more. Well, okay, pacify to give me two shields. I, that card's so good. Alright, let's discard attrition. I'm never going to lose a character. And let's reroll these. I'm trying to find some good damage here. Resource side on this lookout post, that's not very good. So this lookout post is supposed to be doing the, mo the a significant amount of damage to me. And it just really isn't right now. Alright, a tubal focus there is actually very scary because that allows him to go to 3 here and the 3 there. And do all of his Yoda shenanigans, so I, I'm actually going to get rid of this um, double focus without number. Uh, which hurts. Which hurts. But he's only got two cards left in his hand, at least. I don't have many either, in general. He hits another discard side there, and he does hit the focus, so he is going to get these three resources or this triple discard off of Leia. Probably going to go for the triple discard if I was him. Going to discard the Outrun. Do not need it. Come on. Come on. Let's let's get some indirect here. Hey, there we go. A plus three. All right, now I'm going to do seven indirect. That's a lot more. Seven damage in total. That's a lot more effective than the four I was seeing before. All right, there's his C-3PO. Um, with that C-3PO, he can do more. So, five here. Uh, two, and then three. Yep, that's five. It's just a question of who do I want to shoot. Um, everyone's kind of scary, but Leia, Leia has discard sides, but Yoda can focus stuff and has force meditation. Uh, like I'm gonna lose my deck. Like there's no, there's nothing about that. I'm definitely losing my deck. Just case of what's the least least likely thing to lose everything else. Now the thing is with a three for one as well. The high gun C three PO combo is really strong along with the second, along with this chance cube. So there's really just no easy target to take against here. Um, I think the. I think the best target is gonna have to be the Yoda, simply for his more folk, simply for his greater chance of hitting a focus side. But it's not easy. Um, this guy in the scout instead of playing it, because he really, even though what he rolled was good enough, he's gonna go for something better, and he doesn't quite get that. He doesn't have the resources here for the um, for the three for one here. He has no focuses available, so he's gonna have to use C three PO or the Yoda to turn this to a special if he wants to do that. But then again, this three for one can just be can just be layered, um, so that's perfectly fine for him there. Uh, so yeah, let's just claim. There goes an aftermath. There goes my other tra troop transport. All right, at this point, the game is basically over. Um, I needed that second. I needed a troop transport here to start doing fives to people in order to survive this. Uh, so he's using this as a discard. I lose the ward ceremony. Don't care about that. Then he's going to take a shield. Yeah, I mean shield's not the worst thing in the world when you're staring up against battle droids. And damn it. Okay, so the other thing this deck does very well is it has Imperial backing, which allows you to reduce the cost of a support in your hand by five um, for two. Um, to get these LR1K Sonic cans out. But in the last eight cards of my deck, um, of both of them. So this is not the best thing in the world for me here, either. Um, so let's just roll battle droids. So yeah, significant problem with battle droids is that they do have bad mill. They are pretty bad against mill. Um, Alright, good. I hit a blank there. Did not want to hit another plus two um, because of easy pickings here. I can just resolve this three uh, and don't have to deal with the easy pickings problems. With only eight cards left in the deck, he can easily mill me for six here. Um, and there's no way I can win unless I get another support die out, unfortunately. A single discard. He's probably running commando raid as well, um, but... 
I can still try for a, a Scorched Earth play for five if he decides to go down that route. Uh, which at least is something. But if he just starts discarding cards from my hand willy-nilly, then I might have some problems. Alright, there's a special there and a double focus there. Ooh. Um, okay. That double focus right now has no target, um, so it's worth ignoring it. But one problem is going to be, wow, that that actually that actually tossed. All right, and it got blank. All right, there goes my other support and my other LR1K. All right, I have eight supports in the deck, by the way, guys. So the fact that I've not been able to get any other ones out is a big problem. Uh, and he's going to be able to roll out the higher gun and then focus with Yoda here. And I'm only going to be able to Scorch Earth for four, but I feel like I need to Scorch Earth for four instead of remove that Yoda focus. Okay, I'll be able to Scorch Earth for five. Eh. Not rolling any damage on my character dice is a problem here. Well, I got three off, I guess. He gets the three resources there, uh, which is a triple discard from my hand. He could be going to discard almost my entire hand this turn, so I need to do as much damage as possible. So let's Scorched Earth right now for five. But you can see... Okay, but, you know, we can see that we, I have managed to do 12, I've managed to do uh, 6, 12, 18 damage to him, turn 3. Um, which, of course, is nowhere near killing him. But you could see why, you could see that this would be quite effective, uh, especially if I had better draws. It would be very effective against a, um, do I outnumber the C-3PO die here? That would hit reduce his mill a bit, but you could still focus into the double discard here and the three there. At the end of the day, I'm just reducing his discard by like one. Yeah, because if he does this, then that's three discard, right? That's that's my hand gone. Plus one more, that's my hand gone. And then he'd focus this to the three and this to the special, I guess. Have to discard three from the top and would definitely kill the one. Like, he's got so much discard potential here that I'm okay with him using the C-3PO die here on that. I'd much rather re-roll. Um, I'd much rather re-roll. And try and hit some damage. Come on. <sighs> Four indirect, but, oh, but the lookout post really is ruining me here. I really need this thing to roll well, and it just really isn't. Alright, Force Illusion comes down. This is going to allow him to, of course, remove three of them. Because I absolutely... I can't wait until Force Illusion goes away. Um, nope. You can only block three. The... Yeah, there we go. Alright. So yeah, he's just going to discard the rest of my hand. And that's a problem. I'm going to have nothing left at all. Basically. Um, I'm going to have three cards left in my hand. And I've got to hope they're really good. And I don't think they are going to be. I think he's managed to mill. Like, I've drawn the bad cards and he managed to mill the good ones. There's both my cannons. There's both my um, Imperial Troop Transports. There's my arcs. The only other one is another lookout post. That's all I've really got left. He actually went for a reroll there. Um, I'll claim. Okay, to get one more discard from the top, from my deck. Um, he's managed to hit that every single time. So there goes Imperial backing one. There goes the lookout post. I'm dead. I've been saying I've been dead for a long time, and this just absolutely proves it. Um, I can't hit kill him in damage i need four five four plus three plus four 
um, in order to kill him. And that's more damage than these things can do. Well, 2, 4, 6, 8, 11, 12. 12, 12, 12. 12 is one more. If I god roll, I can win. Attrition and award ceremony. There we go. You see? I just draw the bad ones and he mills the good ones. Sometimes this is just what happens against a mill deck, unfortunately. I need to god roll. That's not a god roll. I need every single one of these dice to be showing at least one damage. So, um, this is not good. A shield, okay. A shield. Uh, another blank. God damn it. Well, a shield is not um, mill at least, but uh, the rest can very well be. All right, there goes the scout. So come on, let's get my dice going. There we go. There's an indirect. And there's another blank. That's perfect. Because I, if I had managed to get one of, an, if I had managed to get one more support here, one Imperial Transport or an LRK, I would have been absolutely fine in this in this matchup. Um, but I couldn't get any either of them, and that's um, basically cost me the game. And now, of course, he does have just plenty of ways to deal with me um, in terms of removal. Um, so. Uh, I did not, even so, I managed to get him to 11, and I was not even using the entire b reason why the deck was built. The deck is built to deal with aggro. It's built against these Arena of Deaths. It's built with this Arena of Death in mind. It's built against um, the Hyperspace Jumps. It's built basically against my Finn Mars. Uh, Five Die Droid is actually really, really good against Sabine, against Solo Sabines and these Finn Marses and these, like, Poe Cassians that are turning up. But he managed to mill seven of my eight supports. Um, yeah. Um, I just needed to be able to play these supports, but the, that's the idea of the deck, right? With Along with Aftermath uh, and stuff like Crackdown and Testing Procedure, you can get a lot of resources. Testing Procedure speeds up the deck, it allows you to claim the battlefield more, and when you claim the battlefield, you do indirect damage to your opponent based on the amount of characters you've lost. Cards like Attrition, of course, deals damage based on the characters you lost. Scorched Earth, whilst you control the battlefield, deal indirect damage. So... And I lost the microphone there. Oh, sorry. So with this battlefield, um, with this deck, you can see that the the idea is that you play is that start of turn four, right? You're down to one droid left. Your opponent rolls out. You he doesn't roll enough to kill you. You go scorched earth. He loses five health. It's like all right, I'll uh, re I'll uh, start roll re rolling or whatever. Okay, testing procedure. Boom. Not only do you have dice out there that can be painful, but also now you have dice out there that turn on the um that turn on the overrun, which then you can use to take control of the battlefield for three more indirect, and then finally you claim for three more indirect. That's 11 indirect um, out of your hand, effectively, completely ignoring your character dice and completely ignoring your support dice. So just throwing those into the mix is a lot more effective. It's, it's just a lot of very cheap, cheeky damage. And of course, when you claim the battlefield, if your opponent has three health or less and they don't manage to roll any shields, start the next round, you can just claim the battlefield again, you know? Um... Um, but yeah, uh, one thing I will say, this deck might want planetary and bombardment, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it needs two more, maybe it needs a few more supports, but the problem is this deck doesn't run, roll resources very well. So the way that this deck tends to work is your opponent won't kill your battle droids, um, intentionally once you have after, once you have aftermath out. So the idea is that 
um, when they do go for the kills, they're going to kill a bunch off all at once, and you need to be able to spend that money immediately for a strong benefit. The deck starts out slow, and then because your opponent's killing them, it gets faster and faster and faster, until eventually it's fast enough to kill your opponent through out-of-hand damage without having to even roll out the battle droids. That's the plan. Um... So, yeah, that's the aim of this deck. Um, I, I've honestly been playing this casually a bit, and it's very fun when it works. It's just having a lot of... It's just having a really hard time. A lot of people like to play their mills right now. Um, I managed to lose... I, I did lose at one point to a very strong Ray Qui-Gon deck. And by very strong, I mean it wasn't a strong deck at all. But I had to chew through about 50 shields. <laughs> no, not 50 shields. I, tried to, I had to do a good, like, 40 damage to it, though. And then I was three indirect damage off by the end which is one arena of death claim by the end of that and that was after four rounds so this deck can do a lot of damage it's just you need to be against an opponent who can kill them for you um but even then right i had such a bad draw my i only had one support out still managed to almost kill him well i still got him to 11 health to 11 health left out of 30 so this is a very anti-aggro aggro deck um, it could definitely, definitely be tier 2 if it gets fully optimized. Maybe there's a few things left out of it, but stuff like Award Ceremony, this is so damn good to get you the, to just draw you the Aftermaths. It's so good to draw you the Imperial backings and just have that nice consistency. So, um... So, yeah. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this, uh, game, guys. Um, I'm not going to be doing another game, another, uh, run with the, um, with the Battle Droids, simply because I realized yesterday that UK Nationals is two weeks away, and I'm competing in that. Uh, yeah, I'm going there to compete in that, and I still haven't bought cards from Way of the Force yet, so I probably should do that now. Uh, <laughs> and I should probably decide on a deck. Finn Mars is good, but it's definitely got some holes in it. Um, I don't want to play Mill because Mill. I'm just so worried about my opponents being dicks and just uh, timing me out. But I don't. I genuinely don't think my Yoda's my Yoda hide uh, my Yoda rookie Ezra can actually survive um, in this meta now. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. I'll, I'm thinking about it. You know, I'm probably going to bring like two or three different decks and we'll see how this goes. Still, I've decided if I do want, if I do want to bring Finn Mars, do I want to bring Finn Mars, Sabine Gungan, or do I want to go for Poe 2 Cassian, which is also a very strong contender. All three of those basically doing the exact same thing, uh, but in their slightly different ways, slightly different variations, but we will see. Um, so yeah. I usually don't like my hand first though, for meditation, a little more short thing. Indeed. All right, I... all right. So this will be me, Gameslayer nine nine eight K. No brainer. Thank you very much for watching. Signing off.